Hey, what's going on everybody? Alex here with Freedom Mowers. I hope you all are doing well. Today we are going to be talking about a topic that I get asked all the time and that is how do I order parts for my lawnmower? Now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys today on a riding mower, a, a very common one, but you can use this method to order for any riding mower. I'm also going to show you guys a push mower as well and hopefully this will help you all out. Either order the OEM parts that you need or I'm going to show you guys where you can find stuff aftermarket and hopefully point you all in the right direction and get you set up to get those lawn mowers fixed. I know everything's getting pricey right now and I know a lot of people are going to be doing their own repairs. So let's jump right to it. Check out a lawn mower. We're going to get some parts ordered and uh, take you guys along for the ride. Now, when you're trying to order parts for a riding lawn mower or push mower, you need to know that the engine and the rest of the lawnmower are two separate entities. So if you need to order parts for your engine, then you need to have the numbers from that. And if you need to order parts for anything else on it, then you need to have a separate part number for that as well. We're gonna go ahead and say that we need a carburetor for this machine and some blades. So that will, we'll have to look up both different numbers on it. And this would be a pretty good example. So on this one, I have already taken the pictures of it, but we have a Intec 17.5 and right on the top of the valve cover here We have all the numbers that we need. I did take a Scotch-Brite just to clean it up because it had a little bit of surface rust But I took a picture of it or you can just write the numbers down and I will show you guys here in just a minute on the computer how I'm gonna search for those and a lot of times also underneath of the hood you'll have a sticker either like in the middle or off to the side and a lot of times that'll tell you your deck belts air filters uh, routine maintenance type stuff now we've got the numbers that we need to be able to order the carburetor now if we need to order some blades on this underneath of this machine all the numbers that i need are right here under the seat a lot of times they are either under the seat or right here on the back um, as far as your engine goes a lot of times they can be on the valve cover or on the side i think kawasaki actually puts them in their air bot or air filter location so hopefully that'll give you guys a pretty good idea but you do need to know what you're going to be ordering for get those numbers and then let's jump on the computer and i'll show you guys how to order all right and hopefully you guys can see well enough on the computer uh so we're going to start right off trying to look up those blades. So this is the picture I took. I've got a 13 AN 77 Kilo Golf 011. And so what I did was I put that in on a Google search and just hit parts. Now, it, the first thing that came up was parts tree and I really like their breakdowns and they show you, it's just easier to navigate for me on this website. Um, but it will be broken down into subcategories on the mower, uh, whether you need something for the steering components or whatever you're looking for. Now, this one had uh, just the subcategory for the mowing deck. And you guys can see here, you can get basically everything. You can get the blade brakes, you can get those uh, the spindle covers on here, you can get whole spindles, you can get parts for the spindles, um, everything you need. Uh, it will show the part number for it. Now we needed blades for this, so that was part number 33, which I scrolled down and we have a 942-04308. And you guys can see they do have these in stock. They're $31.99. And let's see, so you can order directly right off the website or you can go and look on eBay or Amazon. I pulled up the link on here as well. I just searched for that part number. 942-04-308 and we have all kinds of choices on here as well but basically the same price uh, about 30 bucks for a set so that's how you can order parts for the mower itself and we can jump right over to the carburetor now so on that one we had that one was a 31 Charlie 707 0603 Bravo 2. 
So I typed those numbers in and went to parts and we are back on parts tree again. And I went to the subcategory for the carburetor. You can get the kits or you, you can get the overhaul. You can get any piece for the carburetor that you need. Uh, or you can just buy the actual whole carburetor. Now this one does have, you need to have the code on this one because it tells you uh, between what dates basically uh, what carburetors were installed. Ours on here was a code 09 0220ZD. So that one was going to fall into this category. So we had a um, you can look up this part number, but it's superseded to this one. So a 594593. Um, I think I looked up the original part number, which was a 591731. And you guys can see it's $144 on here. Or you can go on to Amazon with that same part number and you can look up to see basically what they have here. Now the big thing with carburetors and ordering uh, something aftermarket from Amazon is that you need to at least look up the reviews, look to see if it's been a good brand, uh, because a lot of times you can run into issues. It's not always the cheaper, the better. Um, so I just want to forewarn you that there, I've ran into issues with aftermarket carburetors and there's a good possibility you could as well too. So do your due diligence and check to see what the reviews are and see if it's a good pick. Now hopefully this can help you guys out. I know this isn't the most exciting video, but I know a lot of people are looking for this information and hopefully I can help some people out. Uh, also on push mowers, I've just got this Troy built here. You can also pull the numbers for the actual mower itself. Um, a lot of times right off the back or on one of the panels. Um, now if you needed to order like bailing handle or wheels, um, height adjusters things like that you can uh, get the numbers off from there and let's see so on this one trying to see where the engine number is oh i was looking right at it the whole time so on this one we have our numbers right here on the back on the gas tank so if you need to order parts for the actual engine then you can do the same thing as i just showed you guys in the video so Hopefully this helps you guys out and I really appreciate you checking out the channel. We got a ton of cool projects coming up and I will also be incorporating some tutorials and trying to help everybody as much as possible and have some fun doing it. So thank you guys as always for checking out the channel and on that note, let freedom ring, let those small engines sing. I'll see you all next time.